Hey, how's everyone doing there tonight? This is Undead Nightmare 24 back with a video. Hope everyone's doing well, staying safe out there. This is going to be a top 20 for 2020 video of films that bring the Halloween spirit to you, or you just you enjoy watching during the month of Halloween, October. And I put a list together of 20 films. So let's uh get going here, guys. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get this is my basic opinion of. What puts me in the Halloween mood with these top 20 films. So let's get started. We'll go here with number 20. I'm going to go with uh, Fear Footage. This is a found footage film. Very creepy, guys. It's very low budget, but if you, you guys are into like creepy fear, um, found footage films, I highly recommend this one, guys. It's pretty creepy. There's also a part two out, which is just as good. So I'm going to go with number 20, the Fear Footage. I like that evidence bag, too. It comes in. <laughs> pretty cool. Number 19, it's a newer film. I'm going to go with Trick. Uh, really enjoy this film. It is a little over the top at times, but I don't mind it. Kills are great in this. Has a great cast. Uh, a lot of fun to watch during October. Number 19 is Trick. Number 18, I'm going to go with Halloween Night, a.k.a. Houses That October Built. I always enjoy this one during Halloween. This is another kind of found footage film. Well, camera filmed. Um... I always had fun with this one too, and I did watch it this month, so that's Houses That October Built, or Halloween Night, number 18. Number 17 is another recent one I watched, had to pick up, Scare Package. This is more on the comedic side, but it does pay a lot of homage to 80s horror films, which I enjoyed, and it has a great slasher story towards the end. That was fun for me, so to put it on the list, guys, so that's at number 17, Scare Package. Number 16, it's one I'm actually going to watch in a while, is Tales of Halloween. really love this. It has like 10 short stories. Very fun Halloween and atmospheric film here at number 16, Tales of Halloween. Number 15, another uh, Halloween horror anthology film. That's 1031. This is a lot of fun, guys. Really enjoy the stories. Really entertaining. Great gore in this one as well. Number 15 is 1031. I think I'm at 15, guys. Hold on. Yeah, number 15 is 1031. Apologize there, guys. Lost my count. Number 14, we're staying with the number 31. Go with Rob Zombie's 31. This film receives a lot of hate, but I enjoy it, man. I really like it. Solid film. Like the gore. And the atmosphere in this one as well. Number 14 is Rob Zombie's 31. Number 13, I'm going to go with Idle Hands. This is a fun one to watch during the month of October. And I have watched this one. <laughs> it's just a lot of fun. Idle Hands, great 90s horror film there. So we're going at number 13 is Idle Hands. Number 12, another recent film I enjoy, Hellfest. Just love the atmosphere in this one, that haunted house kind of carnival setting. It's just great and the end the ending is a lot of fun too i like the twist number 12 is hellfest number 11 got terrifier really enjoy this one i'm a fan of art the clown i do admit though this ain't the greatest story story written film but it's still a lot of fun guys can't wait for part two number 11 terrifier okay we're getting into top 10 uh territory here let me organize it i don't have it organized sorry guys Apologize for that. So we're going to start with the number 10 here with a zombie flick. Let's go to The Dead Don't Die. First time I watched this, I'm going to be honest, I really didn't care for it. But I've watched it three times. On the third time, man, I really enjoy this film. I like the, it has like a romero -ish, George Romero atmosphere to it. And it's really strange, guys. Really strange film, not for everyone, but love the cast, man. All-star cast. And this is slowly becoming one of my favorite zombie movies, man. Dead Don't Die at number 10. Number 9, we're going to go with Halloween Night, a.k.a. Hackle Lantern. A lot of fun. Really strange movie, but I just enjoy it, man. Great gore and kills. And has some nudity in this one, man. But it's, it's a great Halloween fill, film. Halloween Night, a.k.a. Hackle Lantern. Number 9. Number 8. Spookies. This film is has 
some of the best practical effects I've seen, man. I really like the creatures in this film. Great kills in this one. I like the atmosphere. And it was filmed, like, different films that all put together. I know the story was still a fun one for this month. Number eight, Spookies. Number seven, The Barn. What can I say about this one, man? Great atmosphere, gore effects. Love the Halloween feel of this one as well, guys. The Barn. Really fun October film here, guys. Number seven is The Barn. Number six. It's a film I hadn't seen till I picked it up a while back. A few days, a few weeks ago, actually. Trick or Treat, man. This film's a lot of fun. I really like this one, man. It has a great rock and roll soundtrack. Some some rock atmosphere in it. And it does have the Halloween dress-up scenes towards the end. And just a lot of fun, man. 80s feel to it. Number six, Trick or Treat. Really like that one. Top five, guys. Here we go with the top five. In at number five is my, my favorite horror anthology film, probably. Creep Show 2. Just always love this the stories in this one, man. It's just a lot of nostal nostalgia for me. Can't speak, excuse me. But yeah, these stories just do it for me. And a uh, very unpopular opinion. I enjoy this one more than the original. Even though I like the I like the original a lot. This one I grew up watching more. So at number five, Creep Show 2. Number four, I do not have a copy of this film, guys. But it's going to be The Worst Witch. I'll have it up here. This film is just... It's my childhood, guys. I watched this since I was a little kid. Till possibly a teenager, man. And still watch it to this day as an adult. And I need to, I need to get a copy of this film and watch it again. Because I just love it. As the girl from The Craft. And also Tim Curry, man. And this is just a fun film for me, man. It was my childhood film during October. So at number four is The Worst Witch. In at number three, of course, I got to go with Trick or Treat. And this is my favorite <laughs> uh, horror anthology film. I said Creepshow 2, but this one is my favorite. Creepshow 2 is number two. And I just love this film. Sounds such, such an iconic character. And I watch this every October, guys. I make it a must. And I'm actually going to watch this tomorrow. Because uh, I got some other stuff for the Halloween day that I'll bring up later. But this one's getting watched tomorrow. Trick or Treat, number three. Number two is a film I watched a few days back and just blew me away, guys. I, I know I watched this before, but it just gets better every time I watch it. Night of the Demons. Love the soundtrack, the practical effects, atmosphere, the 80s feel of it, man. This this is becoming one of my favorite Halloween movies, man. That's why I have it at number two, Night of the Demons. Such a fun film, guys. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it, but, man, I could watch this over and over. Number two, Night of the Demons. And number one, you guys probably already know what it is. It's probably on everyone's list, but Halloween, the original. I can't go against this film, guys. It's my all-time favorite franchise, favorite killer, favorite slasher film. And I'm going to watch it again on Halloween. It's a annual ritual, man, <laughs> to watch this, man. Halloween, number one. So that's my top 20, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. To let you guys know, this is just my opinion. But these are films that give me the, the Halloween spirit and Halloween feel for October, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Please hit a like and comment and subscribe. Everyone stay safe out there. Take care. Have a awesome Halloween, guys. And uh, Sunday Nightmare 24 back with a video. Keep it horror. Peace. <laughs>